Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Praise Yahweh for calling Yahshua out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of out of the world of sin. Hallelujah. We praise Yahweh for all things in Yahshua's name. Hallelujah. 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 We're the people of Yahweh, called by his name, called from the dark and delivered from shame. One holy race, saints everyone, because of the blood of Yahshua, his son. With our lips, let us make one profession, with our hearts hold to one truth alone. For he has removed our transgression, called us and claimed us his own, his very own. We're the people of Yahweh, called by his name, called from the dark and delivered from shame. One holy race, saints everyone, because of the blood of Yah. Shua, his son. Hear us, O spirits of darkness, so you will know where we stand. We are his servant, purchased with scars, bought by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of the Lamb. We're the people of Yahweh, called by his name, Call from the dark and deliver from shame. One holy race, saints everyone, because of the blood of Yahshua, his son. Hallelujah. Because of the blood of Yahshua, his son. Because of the blood of Yahshua, his son. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Yahweh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father Yahweh, in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Thank you for calling Yahshua out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, hallelujah, out of the world of sin. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for your keeping power, and we magnify your name, hallelujah, for all that you have done, for all that you're doing, for all that you shall do. We thank you for all those who are coming to the knowledge of the truth, who are coming unto salvation. We praise you, Father, for all that you do. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we thank you, Father, for your blessing upon our lives. We thank you for all your provision for today, hallelujah. We thank you and we lift up the household of faith, all of our children and our children's children, our sisters and our brothers, our nieces, our nephews, our uncles, aunts and cousins, every mother and father, every grandmother and grandfather. We lift up to you, hallelujah, all the leaders of every place of worship, every assembly, congregation, temple, Knesset. We praise you, Father, for all those who are waking up, who are having studies in their homes, Father, who are striving to find a place to come and worship. Father, we ask your mercy upon, hallelujah, all those that you've called, all those that you're calling, hallelujah, all those who are seeking you with their whole heart, hallelujah, that they might find you. We bless your name, Father Yahweh, and we thank you for all that you have done, all that you're doing, and all that you shall do in the lives of your people. We thank you for sending Yahshua, hallelujah, into this world to represent you. And Father, as he has come, he has come, hallelujah. He died on the tree at Golgotha, taking our sins upon his body. And the blood which he shed, hallelujah, from the crown of his head down to the soles of his feet. We thank you for that blood which cleanses us from sin. We thank you for the stripes which he received upon his back, which heal us from every sickness and disease. And as we continue to walk up right before you, we praise you, Father, for all that you've done for all that you're doing and all that you shall do in the lives of your people. We praise you, Father, for all those who have a desire, hallelujah, to do righteousness unto holiness. Father, we know, hallelujah, that if we continue to live a life that would be pleasing before your sight, that we are headed, hallelujah, to your kingdom. And yet, Father, we know that many people will not wake up because they are destined, hallelujah, they are destined to destruction. 
But Father, we pray, hallelujah, that there's many, hallelujah, who will help, hallelujah, the righteous, that they will, hallelujah, receive favor. Father, we ask your mercy and your extended grace. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we thank you, we love you, we praise you. In Yahshua's name we pray, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I say greetings, hallelujah, to you from Congregation of Yahweh. I'm Apostle Haniah, Pastor Beverly Gordon, hallelujah. I thank you for allowing me into your home, hallelujah. This is part two of a message called Friend, Foe, um, Advocate, Adversary, Enemy, and uh, Righteous, Wicked and Righteous. And listen, as we're looking at what's going on today in this world, hallelujah, there are many things that are happening. And as we read the word, we see the things that are going on in this world. And yet, even as we are doing this part two, hallelujah, I have some scriptures that I would like to read. And my ultimate prayer is that people, hallelujah, as we read these scriptures, will listen to what the scriptures say and then be at a place of being in the right place and not in the wrong place, hallelujah, or in the wrong position. And I'm praising Father Yahweh for his keeping power, hallelujah. And as I said, you know, we are, you know, talking about some of the things, listen, some of the things that are going on in this world. And yet, like I said, friend, foe, Advocate, adversary, uh, enemy, uh, uh, wicked, and righteous. Think about where we have to have our lives to be, to be able to enter to the kingdom of Yahweh. Hallelujah. We want to be a friend. We want to be righteous. Hallelujah. We want to be an advocate. Hallelujah. We want to become holy because we must be holy because Father Yahweh is holy. Yahshua, hallelujah, is holy. Hallelujah. And because Father Yahweh is spirit, we must worship him in spirit and in truth. And we have to recognize that Yahshua came out of his father. Hallelujah. And because of that, he also is spirit and he also is holy. And even as we are striving for, hallelujah, for the holiness of Yahweh, then we must repent of sin so we can become like Yahshua who never sinned and yet because he took our sin upon his body, he died, hallelujah, that we might be cleansed from sin, that we might be saved so we can, hallelujah, enter into the kingdom of Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. As I said, Please listen to these scriptures. See where you are. See what's going to happen depending on where we are with what we do in this life. So it says, plead my cause, O Yahweh, with them that strive with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my, call, my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my life, I am your salvation. I am your Yahshua. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as the chaff before the wind and let the angel of Yahweh chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of Yahweh persecute them. For without cause they have hid from me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my life. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net which he hath had hid catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall. And my life shall be joyful in Yahweh. It shall rejoice in his salvation. Our spirit has to rejoice. And all my bones shall say, Yahweh, who is like unto you? 
which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy from him that spoils him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my life. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my life with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. Hallelujah. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourns for his mother. But in my adversity, remember that's one of the words, but in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yes, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and cease not. With hypocritical mockers and thieves, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Yahweh, how long will you look on? Rescue my life from their destructions, my darling ones from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among much people. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful manners against them that are quiet in the land. Yes, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye have seen it. This you have seen, O Yahweh. Keep not silent, O Yahweh. Be not far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my judgment. Even unto my cause, my Father and my Savior. Judge me, O Yahweh, my Father, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so we would have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed them up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy, hallelujah, and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yes, let them say continually, let Yahweh be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of the of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. We praise Father Yahweh for this word because inside we see the word, many words that I'm saying. Friend, foe, advocate, adversary, wicked, enemy, and righteous. You're not in the same order, but listen, we want to be, listen, we want to be righteous. Our bottom line, we want to be righteous. We want to be people who will stand up for the things that Father Yahweh wants to happen in this world. He's calling the people for his name's sake. He's calling us to walk in righteousness and holiness. And yet if we do the things that he's telling us to do, hallelujah, we want to be a friend. We want to be a friend to Father Yahweh. We want to realize that even as he sent Yahshua into this world to live a life of righteousness and holiness to show us how to walk. Father Yahweh being spirit, we wouldn't be able to see him. We would only be able to see the manifestation of his presence by the fire and the cloud. Hallelujah. That's the only way we would know his presence was there. And yet we have to have a spiritual mind of discernment to be able to know what that cloud and that fire represented. Because we want to be in the presence of Yahweh. We want to be a friend and advocate. We want to be righteous. We do not want to be in 
adversity or a foe or an enemy, we want to be righteous. We want to walk toward holiness, holiness, holiness. And so that means that w there's something different that we must do. And so for all those who have not yet read the word, are you thinking about salvation? Are you already fitted for destruction? Where are you? We want to be at a place where we can, hallelujah, receive Father Yahweh's word, hallelujah. Psalm 71. And you, O Yahweh, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear unto me and save me. Hallelujah. Be you my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. You have given commandment to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Hallelujah. Deliver me, O Yahweh, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. <coughs> For you are my hope, O Yahweh. You are my trust from my youth. You know, even when I did not know Father Yahweh's name in my youth, at the age of 19, he allowed me to receive a Bible that I purchased through the bank, hallelujah, that had his name from Genesis to Malachi. And I praise Father Yahweh today for allowing me to hear and see, hallelujah, what his word does say, hallelujah. Verse 6 of Psalm 71. By you have I holden up from the womb. You are he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of you. I am as a wonder unto many, but you are my strong refuge. Hallelujah. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails, hallelujah. For my enemies speak against me, and they that wait for my life take counsel together, saying, Yahweh has forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver. O Yahweh, be not far from me, O my Father. Make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my spirit. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek after my hurt. But I will hope continually, and I will yet praise you more and more. My mouth shall show forth your righteousness and your salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. Verse 16 of Psalm 71. I will go in the strength of Yahweh. I will make mention of your righteousness, even of yours only. Hallelujah. O Yahweh, you have taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared your wondrous works. Hallelujah. Now also, when I am old, and gray-headed, not yet, <laughs> and when I am old and gray-headed, O Yahweh, forsake me not until I have showed your strength unto this generation and your power to everyone that is to come. Hallelujah. Your righteousness also, O Yahweh, is very high. Who hath done great things, O Yahweh? Who is like unto you? You which have showed me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Hallelujah. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise you with the psaltery, even your truth, O oh my Father. Even unto you will I sing with the harp, O oh, you holy one of Yahshua of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto you, 
and my spirit which you have redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of your righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, and they for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. We praise Father Yahweh for the writing of the word. And yet, as I continue to share, you know, the scriptures were written in the Hebrew tongue. And so sometimes you may hear me saying something that your Bible does not say. And yet, as we study and as we search Father Yahweh's word out, he shows us the things that we need to know. He helps us to be in the position and place that he wants us to be. So that as we are sharing Yahweh's word, we can, by the power of his spirit, hallelujah, be able to do the things that he wants us to do. I'm going now, hallelujah, to Psalm 91. Hallelujah to Psalm 91. And so sometimes I even sing this song. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress. My Father, in him will I trust. Anyway, I'm going to read this scripture. Hallelujah. 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 And listen, as I said, friend, foe, advocate, adversary, enemy, wicked, righteous. What are we going to be? We must want to walk in righteousness, be a friend to Yahweh, because if we're doing what he said, he will call us his friends. And yet, when we look at who Yahshua is coming out of Father Yahweh, hallelujah, by the Spirit, and coming, hallelujah, into this world, born of a woman, born under the animal sacrificial law system, and raping, growing up and doing the work and the will of Father Yahweh, then we have to be able to see who Yahshua truly is. Hallelujah. We want to be righteous. We want to be a friend. He that, Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge, my fortress, and my Father, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand, hallelujah, a thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, your habitation. Hallelujah. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hand, lest you dash your foot against the stove. <coughs> Excuse me. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall you trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Hallelujah. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation and show him my Yahshua. The word salvation in Hebrew is the word Yahshua. Hallelujah. Yahshua came in his father's name. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Shua. Hallelujah. And we praise Father Yahweh for what he's done, for what he's doing, and for what he shall do in the lives of his people, that we as a people might be at the place of doing the things that 
Father Yahweh wants us to do. And if we're doing that, hallelujah, we shall arrive in the kingdom, hallelujah, at the time appointed, hallelujah, on the feast of Shavuot, no, the feast of uh, Shaolin or the feast of um, blowing of trumpets. We want to be in Yahweh's kingdom. And we'll be shouting for joy, saying, Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Listen, listen. It will be a time of shouting. And even if you read in Psalm 19, Hallelujah, I'm not Psalm 19, Revelation 19. And when you understand what it happened in that marriage supper, it's a wonderful, 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 wonderful time. And we will be shouting for joy. Hallelujah, because our brothers and sisters will all have come home. We'll be gathered in that morning around Yahweh's throne. We'll be shouting for joy. Hallelujah, we'll be shouting for joy. And yet we know that Yahshua must reign for that 1,000 years while he puts all the enemies of Yahweh under his feet. Are we going to be an enemy? Or are we going to be a friend? Are we going to be a foe, an advocate, an adversary, enemy, wicked, or righteous? We want to be righteous. We want to be righteous. We want to walk toward that holiness. Father Yahweh said, be you holy, for I am holy. Hallelujah. And so if we recognize, hallelujah, the holiness of Yahweh, and we understand how we need to walk upright in his word, in this world, then we will do the things that Father Yahweh's word says. I'm reading Psalm 109 now. Now remember, we have to think about what we are going to do in this world. Are we going to be a friend, a foe, an advocate, an adversary? Now, when we recognize that what these words mean, and I would say, get your dictionary out. Because sometimes people have to study for themselves and see what these words mean, see what they mean, and then see what you need to do. Because, look, those who are in opposition to the righteous are going to be destroyed. We don't want to see anyone destroyed, but it's not my call. We just share the word, hallelujah, pray that everyone hears, and if they have an ear to hear, eyes to see, and the spirit to receive the truth. Hallelujah. And sometimes you got to say, Father Yahweh, help me. Hallelujah. Help me do what you want me to do. Hallelujah. And so if we do that, listen, many things happen. Hallelujah. Psalm 109. Psalm 109. <clears throat> and I pray that you're writing these scriptures down so you can go back over them again. Hallelujah. So you can... Think about what these scriptures are saying. Psalm 109. Hold not your peace, O Yahweh, of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. For they have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They come, <clears throat> they come past me about with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set you a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he <clears throat> shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his place, take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch him, all, catch all that he has, and let the strangers spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any favor uh, to favor his fatherless children. Hallelujah. <clears throat> let his posterity be cut off, and the generation following, let their name be blotted out. 
that the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with Yahweh, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before Yahweh continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth, because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, and that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him, and as he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing, like as with a garment, so let it come into his bowels like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covers him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of my adversaries from Yahweh and of them that speak evil against my life. <clears throat> but do you for me, O Yahweh, for, my, for your name's sake, because your mercy is good, deliver you me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded with, within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declines. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh fails of fatness. I became as, as also a reproach unto them. When they looked upon me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Yahweh, my Father. O save me according to your mercy, that they may look, that they may know that this is your hand and that you, Yahweh, have done it. <clears throat> let them curse, but bless you. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let your servant rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise Yahweh with my mouth. Yes, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his life. We praise Father Yahweh for his word. We thank Father Yahweh for his goodness, for his mercy does endure forever. Hallelujah. We know that as we continue to look at the words, we want to be, listen, we want to walk in righteousness. We don't want to be judged as wicked. We don't want to um, <clears throat> fall in the hand of an angry father because, listen, when things are done, hallelujah, when things are done to the righteous, Father Yahweh doesn't like it. And so when we're walking up right before him, and listen, we all have sinned. If I had 16 more hands, I put them up. Because when you read the word and see all the different things that mankind has done and how they think of evil imaginations all the time, we have to be at a place of repentance repenting of our sin, knowing what sin is. Sin is the transgression of Father Yahweh's law. And if we are not repenting of sin, then that means we're walking in wickedness. And yet Father Yahweh wants us as a people to be at a place of reading his word, seeing what it does say, and then walking his word out in us. In other words, if it tells you to do something, then do it. When it says repent and believe, for the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand, what do you have to believe? You must believe the word of Yahweh. You must hear someone share that message with you. And so many times we were all taught one thing, and yet as we begin to read and search, if our hearts are sincere and we're looking for salvation, Father Yahweh, by his spirit, will show us the things that we need to know. And he will allow us to be at the place that he wants us to be and be in that position because he is building up the body of Yahshua. 
And so when I really think about <clears throat> the words and the things that Father Yahweh has spoken to us, I want to, I want to be a friend, I want to be an advocate, I want to be holy, I want to be righteous, and if we're doing that, listen, if we repent of sin and we have faith to believe what Father Yahweh's word says, then he, listen, we have to have faith and we have to believe. And a lot of times when, when you really look at the scripture, we have to realize and say, are people doing the things that Father Yahweh said to do? I want to read um, in uh, Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5. And I'm going to read verses... Uh, wrong chapter. Galatians chapter 5. And I pray that as I read these scriptures, you'll hear what it says. It says, uh, let me start. I'm going to start reading at verse 14. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 14. It says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. It doesn't mean that you don't have any laws to keep. It means that if you truly understand Yahweh's laws, you are going to obey them to the point of loving your neighbor as yourself and doing to your neighbor righteous kinds of things. Helping your neighbor when they need help. Not hurting and not thinking about devising some evil scheme or doing something that would cause them some hurt, either physically, naturally, or whatever emotionally. It says, but if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another. This I say, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So that you cannot do the things that you would. Now, when we really think about flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of Yahweh. So if we're not walking in righteousness, we will not, we will not. Oh, those who do not walk in righteousness unto holiness, receiving the Ruach because of their faith to obey and believe the scriptures, Realizing that Father Yahweh sent Yahshua, Yahweh Shua, into this world to represent him, to show us how to live. And as, even as, as he did live a life of righteousness unto holiness, and yet they accused him of a sin, which he did not sin, not one sin. And because he did not sin one sin, and yet they accused him, and they even hung him on the tree at Golgotha. And because they hung him on the tree at Golgotha, and he took our sin upon his body, then he even made con intercession, saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And yet, he died. He died. We are the ones who should have died. And yet we're all going to die at least one time. And because the wages of sin is death, we want to repent of sin. We want to walk in righteousness. We want to walk unto holiness so we can be resurrected to meet Yahshua in the air. But we must read this word. We must hear the word of Yahweh so that we know how to walk upright before Father Yahweh. Because if we don't know how to walk upright before Father Yahweh, then we will not, listen, be able to enter into his kingdom. And so, as I'm continuing to read in Galatians chapter 5. Verse 17 again. For the flesh lusts after the spirit and the spirit after the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. <clears throat> but if you are led of the spirit, you are not under the law, listen, you are not under the law of sin and death. Go back to Romans chapter eight, verse one and two. You would not be under the law 
of sin and death. If you're led by the Spirit, you're going to do righteous things. You will not be under the law of sin and death. But if you are led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Listen, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and the such like of the which I tell you before as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not enter the kingdom of Yahweh, shall not enter the kingdom of Yahweh. But the fruit of the Spirit, the only way we can grow any fruit and have fruit is to receive the Ruach HaKodesh, is to read the word of Yahweh, to see how to walk upright before Father Yahweh. If we don't know how to walk upright, then you can't receive the Ruach. You won't know how to walk. You won't know how a person would not know what to do. And so we all who are seeking for salvation, those that Father Yahweh is calling and choosing, we must answer the call and we must do the things that will allow love, joy, or gladness, and peace. Listen, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, goodness, gentleness, faith, temperance, meekness. Against such, there is no law. These are virtues that we must have in us, along with faith. Along with faith. Well, faith is in here. Listen. <clears throat> Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Against such, there is no law. If we have these things indwelling us, there is no law. Sometimes we're sharing things with people. And because, listen, the whole world has been deceived. So when we're sharing the truth, people sometimes are hurt by it because they have not been taught that truth. And so as, a, as a people who must share the truth, we must be able to see what Father Yahweh's word does say. And if we can see what his word does say, and we take his word into our spirit and begin to allow it to come out in actions of righteousness, then we begin to put on the fruit of the spirit. And yet we must be led by the spirit of Yahweh. And the only way to be led by the spirit of Yahweh is either to hear that word which guides us until that point when we receive the Ruach and dwelling because we are repenting of sin. All these sins that I just read. We cannot have any of those things in us and enter, hallelujah, into Father Yahweh's kingdom. It says, And they that are the Messiah Yahshua's have, have, have uh, slain the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk. Let us walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another to envy. We want to magnify Father Yahweh all the time. Don't want, I, listen, we must magnify Yahweh's name all the time by faith in Yahshua HaMashiach because Yahshua came out of Father Yahweh. So that means Father Yahweh and Yahshua are one and they're one by the Spirit. And in them being one by the Spirit, and yet even as Yahshua was born in the flesh, listen, it's a whole mystery. And that's why people don't really understand what the scriptures are saying sometimes. But we want to be at a place of truly learning how to love. Truly learning how to love. Listen, sometimes people don't always understand what we say and what we're doing, and yet we want to be at the place of Father Yahweh wants us to be. I have a few more minutes while you can see me, and I'm going to read over the graphics, and yet I thank you 
for allowing me into your home. My ultimate prayer is that you want to be a friend, an advocate, <laughs> and walk in righteousness unto holiness. Not You don't want to be a foe, an enemy, wicked, or an adversary. None of those should we, who are seeking for salvation, none of those four things should we want to do. We want to walk in righteousness under holiness, and yet we have to read the word, see what it tells us to do, so we know how to walk. Hallelujah. Um, as we continue to read, I'm, I'm going to go right to Revelation, because it's almost time to close. Hallelujah. And yet, as we're looking at the scripture, you know, the scripture shows us that um, many people do not repent of their sin because they never repented of the sin. They never gained a heart to believe. And so because of these things, it's not going to happen the way they want to. In um, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 7, matter of fact, I'm going to start up. Mm. I'm going to start at verse 5 because we, we want to you know, be at that place where we can um, know that Father Yahweh is one day going to come down and dwell with us on the earth. You know, right now, Father Yahweh is sitting in heaven. Yahshua making intercession for us. He's sitting in heaven, and yet they're one. They're one. They're one. And yet we have to realize for us to be able to vision uh, what Father Yahweh has done for us, we... You have to be able to read the scripture and have a spirit of discernment to be able to spiritually discern what Father Yahweh's word is saying. And yet the scripture says, how can you believe in someone of whom you have never heard? How can you hear without a preacher? How can the preacher preach except they are sent? Faith, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh. So I'm going to read here in uh, Revelation chapter um, 21 and at verse 5. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these are the wo right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am a left and tall. The Hebrew is a left and tall. The whole scripture was written. In Hebrew, a left and tall. That's the first and the last letter in the Hebrew alphabet. A left and tall, the beginning and the end, I will give unto him um, that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcomes, the only way we can overcome is to be a friend, an advocate, walk in righteousness and holiness. He that overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his father, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and, and idolaters and all liars, all liars, shall have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. We want to be in the first resurrection. We're all going to die one time. We're all going to die one time. But we want to be raised in the first resurrection. The second resurrection is the second death, where people die twice. We only want to die one time. We want to be born again. We're born in the flesh, got a fleshly body but we want to be born in the spirit so that we have a body that can be invisible just like Father Yahweh is invisible. For Yahweh is spirit. Just like the wind, the air in this room, you can't see it, you can't grab it or hold it, and that's why he tells us our bodies are the temples for the Ruach HaKadosh, for the Holy Spirit, for the spirit of the holy. And so when we receive the Ruach, in dwelling us, it's because we have 
been obedient to the commandments of Yahweh. We had faith to believe the words of truth that we heard. And yet, if we truly take the word, listen, many times people do not and have not yet come up. But if you're reading the word and you're believing what it's saying, even though some things have been changed, when you get to a certain point, Father Yahweh will know that your heart, your spirit is sincere. And he will, by his spirit, he will speak to you, even as he did with me. And he said, and I had just finished singing, in the name of Jesus. But he knew that the Bible that I had received from the bank said Yahweh. And then in the Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts, it said, Lord God and Jesus. No more Yahweh. And I said, something's wrong. So Yahweh and Yahshua, or Yahweh and Yahweh Shua, go together. Because Yahshua said, I come in my father's name. His father's name is Yahweh. So, because Father Yahweh said, I, Yahweh, am your Savior. And we have to remember that Yahshua, who is the Word, was the spokesperson for Father Yahweh. And because he was the spokesperson for Father Yahweh, then, listen, he is that Word in John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Yahweh, and the word was Yahweh. Got to be a name. We're saved by a name. We're not saved by titles. The title Messiah means the anointed of Yahweh. And yet, when we're looking at our salvation, we must be saved by a name. And so, there is no name given among men <laughs> under heaven, no other name by which we can be saved. Got to be a Hebrew name with a Hebrew title. A Hebrew name and a Hebrew title. If you can think about what I'm saying, if this enters into your spirit, then you're on the right track. But if you think the Greek, when our Savior was a Hebrew man, walking in a Hebrew pathway, hallelujah, oops, they don't work. Hebrew, Hebrew, and a pure language is going to be, be returned to us so we can worship Father Yahweh with one consent. Read the beginning, two, chap, two books of the Bible, and see how many times you see something about Hebrew. And then we have the book of Hebrews and that great cloud of witnesses. Listen, hallelujah, we want to be a wise people. We want to be a wise people. We want to be a friend. We want to be an advocate. We want to walk in righteousness unto holiness. We want to have faith to believe. And my ultimate prayer is if you are at that point of faith to believe, hallelujah, the kingdom of Yahweh is coming to you. Hallelujah. The kingdom of Yahweh is coming to you. And yet, Father Yahweh guides us by his spirit because he knows all the things that have happened in this world. He knows who will do and honor him with, the, with whatever work, and we don't work for salvation, but whatever the calling is that he gives us, that we will do his blessed will. So whatever he calls us to do, we'll be those people. I thank you for allowing me into your home. My ultimate prayer is that you'll continue to read, study your word, see what it does say. And if, you, and if there's something you don't know, just say, Father, please show me your truth. Father, please show me your truth. And if you are sincere in that request, he will give you all that you need to have. And all we can do is praise Father Yahweh for what he does for us. Hallelujah. We're the people of Yahweh, called by his name, called from the dark and delivered from shame. One holy race, saints everyone, because of the blood of Yahshua, his son. With our lips, let us make one profession, with a heart told to one truth alone. 
for he has removed our transgressions, called us and claimed us his own, his very own. We're the people of Yahweh, called by his name, called from the dark and delivered from shame. One holy race, saints everyone, because of the blood of Yahshua, his son. Hear us, O oh spirits of darkness, so you will know where we stand. We are his servants, purchased with scars, bought by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of the Lamb. We the people of Yahweh, called by his name, called from the dark and delivered from shame. One holy race, saints everyone, because of the blood of Yah. Shua, his son, because of the blood of Yahshua, his son, because of the blood of Yahshua, his son. Beloved, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. We shall be like him. We shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. For we shall see him as he is. For we shall see him as he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh for Yahshua. Praise Yahweh for calling Yahshua out of the land of Egypt, out of the world of sin. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for everything in Yahshua's name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.